European foreign ministers will wait to see Russia's reaction to Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko's peace plan before deciding whether to apply more sanctions. At a meeting in Luxembourg on Monday, the ministers expressed their backing for the plan, as outlined by European Union foreign policy chief Catherine Ashton. All EU ministers supported the plan as a major opportunity for de-escalation of the situation and called on all sides to honour a ceasefire and create the conditions needed to implement this plan. We called in particular, of course, on Russia to support the plan and use its influence to ensure its implementation. Ukraine wants to become a member of the European Union within a decade, the country's foreign minister, Pavlo Klimkin, told Euronews in an interview on Monday. Its long road to full EU membership begins this Friday, when it will sign the final parts of a political and free trade deal that will boost the economic and political ties between Kiev and Brussels. Could I just uh, come back onto this issue of potential EU and NATO membership. Could you just clear this up for me because it's, it's not really clear. You see yourself eventually joining the European Union and NATO. Does that, is that a, still a long-term ambition for Ukraine? No, our position is absolutely clear on that. Firstly, it's not a compromise that Ukraine should become a member of the European Union. Ukraine is a European country, Ukraine is a democratic country, and our ambition, and it's our uh, conce political consensus, but it's also our clear consensus in our society that Ukraine should become a member of the European Union. But the possible NATO membership is not on our agenda, because we don't have such a consensus in Ukraine. So when do you think you'll become a member of the European Union? Why not, you know, in 10 years? Uh, if you see the new member states, like Poland, like other countries, the period of preparation for, for membership, including negotiations, was 10 minus plus years. And uh, indeed, it's not a sort of speculation. It's a kind of ambition. And we have to set up uh, ambitious goals for ourselves. Otherwise, uh, the goals uh, could look like, you know, a miracle sort. And we need uh, Ukraine becoming a part of European project, a reality. And it's also my personal ambition.